In the report, it talks about improving education, digital education. Studies have shown that combining these two is very effective. How to combine them, we have to figure out. We're still learning. Technological integration doesn't just mean high tech. It can also mean other things, too. So what does high quality education look like? Well, there's infinite possibilities for what it could look like. And we're seeing a lot of those possibilities happen right now in Jiangsu Lu Di Wu Xiaoxue or summer camps around the city in Shanghai. Here at the school, Jiangsu Lu Di Wu Xiaoxue, they have things like smart boards in the classroom. Those are highly visible. But behind the scenes, teachers are meeting constantly online, having conferences, correcting course materials, having discussions. They don't need to be at any one location anymore. Schools all around the city and around the country are more quickly and more smoothly able to communicate and work out the best practices for teaching the students. So what's really happening behind the scenes now is that barriers to education are being removed. So we have all these tools that are really allowing people to expand their horizons and create a more balanced education system. I've lived in China for almost 15 years, and in those years, I've traveled to over 40 cities around China, organizing events, teaching workshops, teaching English and music, and I've had a, a really amazing time learning from Chinese people about amazing Chinese music, history, culture, tea, all those things. I've seen firsthand how powerful music can be to improve student engagement in the classroom. For example, whether it's incorporated into an English lesson or guiding younger students in the power of respectful collaboration, working together. This is really important. Little kids don't necessarily just know how to work together. Sometimes they need practice and music and other new technologies are helping us teach them those things. With China's incredible diversity of musical history, there are myriad opportunities for cultural diplomacy. Musicians love to meet and collaborate with other musicians because it helps everyone to be more creative and encourages growth. Shanghai is very, very effective at hosting and facilitating these kinds of meetings. I'm really looking forward to an increased emphasis on culture and health in education, especially in the early years where movement and the arts are key to building foundations for logic, communication, and self-regulation. Recent policy changes are taking into account that we need to help students learn the skills to become lifelong learners. 